हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज वृशाली इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी डिस्कस अबाउट रिस्क मैनेजमेंट टॉपिक विथ एग्जाम्पल आई हैव मैंशन कंप्लीट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट प्ले लिस्ट लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज सॉफ्टवेयर कॉन्फिग्रेशन मैनेजमेंट एज पर यूर एग्जाम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एस सी एम देर इंपॉर्टन्स प्रोसेस रिपोजिटरी देर फंक्शन्स एंड टूल्स एट दी एंड वी विल डिस्कस सम इम्पॉर्टंट क्वेश्चन दैट हैव आस्ट इन प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर लेट सी ऑल दिस पॉइंट वन बाय वन नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वॉट एक्जैक्टली एस सी एम एस सी एम स्टैंड फॉर सॉफ्टवेयर कॉन्फिग्रेशन मैनेजमेंट सी वाई डेवलपिंग अ पर्टिक्युलर सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोजेक्ट यू मस्ट यूज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपमेंट लाइफ सायकल देर आर व्हेरियस फेजेस लाईक रिक्वायरमेंट गॅदरिंग अँड प्लॅनिंग अनालिसिस डिझाईन इम्प्लिमेंटेशन टेस्टिंग मेंटेनन्स एक्सेट्रा नाव व्हाईल डेव्हलपिंग अ पर्टिक्युलर प्रोजेक्ट देर आर व्हेरियस चेंजेस आर ऑकर ॲट ईच फेज ऑफ एस डी एल सी द चेंजेस रिलेटेड टू द कस्टमर रिक्वायरमेंट्स चेंजेस इन सॉफ्टवेअर टीम ऑर दी ऑर्गनायझेशन चेंजेस इन गव्हर्नमेंट पॉलिसीज अँड रूल्स ऑर समटाईम चेंजेस इन प्रोजेक्ट शेड्यूल नाव टू हँडल अँड मॉनिटर ऑल दिस चेंजेस फॉर दॅट पर्पज सॉफ्टवेअर कॉन्फिग्रेशन मॅनेजमेंट प्रोसेस इज युस्ड ॲज पर द डेफिनेशन एस सी एम इज प्रोसेस हु सिस्टमॅटिकली मॅनेज ऑर्गनाईज अँड कंट्रोल ऑल द चेंजेस इन डॉक्युमेंट्स कोर्ट्स अँड अदर एंटिटीज इन एस डी एल सी टू मॉनिटर ऑल दिस चेंजेस आर नेसेसरी बिकॉज इट अफेक्ट ऑन युअर प्रोग्रामिंग कोड युअर प्रोजेक्ट प्लॅनिंग दॅन युअर टेस्टिंग डेटा अँड अदर डेटाबेस to handle all this configuration items there are different scm tools are available like puppet config hub then solve stack ansible git bitbucket docker these tools are used by the configuration manager to handling all the configuration data the primary goal of scm is to increase productivity with minimal mistakes now the next topic is importance of scm and the main importance is configuration manager ensure that all the changes occur in software project are properly planned tested and integrated into the final product it also help software team members to collaborate and coordinate their work let's take one example suppose there are new whatsapp updates are available so at that time you update your whatsapp from the google play store so at that time there are new features are available right so this scm process manage and track different versions of particular software system they also ensure that everyone working from the same version of software system scm also help in deployment phase of software development life cycle they maintain environment on the client side while developing a particular product basically it improve quality and reliability of software system it also increase efficiency and reduce the risk of errors in particular software project so this is the importance of scm in software engineering now the next topic is scm process as per your exam point of view this is one of the most important topic there are total five steps in scm process like identification version control change control configuration audit and reporting this scm process are handled by the project manager configuration manager developer and the end user now let discuss scm process in detail now the first step of scm process is planning and identification here configuration manager identify the scope and objective of particular software project for that purpose they arrange meeting group discussion brainstorming session with your software team and different stakeholders configuration manager identify different test cases requirements different modules and schedule time of particular project they also identify software configuration items means which type of hardware resources software resources and human resources are used in particular project basically they maintain a details of why when and what changes will be occur in particular project and by whom this all changes are performed they identify 
and analyze all these details. They also mention proper naming convention to each and every file. See here, instead of naming a file login.php, you should give a file name login v1.2.php. Here v1.2 stands for version number of file. See, every time new features are added in particular project. So also change the name of that particular file. That is version 1, add new features, that is version 2. Again add new features, that is version 3 in this way. So mention proper naming convention to each and every files and the folders. Now, the second step is version control process or baseline. See, SCM process handle different versions of configuration objects and the particular product. See here in this diagram. Suppose developer 1 work on WhatsApp v1.1 file that is first version of file now developer 2 add some extra features in particular product now they mention a file name whatsapp v1.2 means second version similarly developer 2 developer 3 edit that particular file also add some extra feature in that file now developer 3 give the file name whatsapp v1.3 means third version of that file now this last updated file stored into this repository and multiple stakeholders use this latest or updated version of file. So this process are handled by the configuration manager in SCM process. They control the alter modification and storing all this latest version file into the repository. Now the next step is change control process. See. There are various changes are occur at each phase of SDLC. The changes related to the add or edit various configuration item, changes related to the user permission, or sometimes changes related to the client's requirements, right? Now, when there are changes are available, so what is the process? See here. Suppose customer want video call this new feature in particular project, right? So this changes is there. Now software team send this particular changes to the software configuration manager. Now software configuration manager check that overall impact of that particular change in your project. After that they approve those changes or deny those changes. If particular changes affect on your project or there is a wrong impact on your project. So configuration manager denied those changes. Okay. Otherwise they approve it. If configuration manager approve those changes, so implement all the necessary changes by the software developer and mention all these changes into the document. So this is called as change control process. So basically all the changes are approved by the software configuration manager. Now the next step is configuration audit process. So basically configuration manager here identify that all the changes are properly developed or not. They check that or they audit that all the completeness, correctness and consistency of modified or changeable items in software configuration process. They also mention that what is new in each version and why the changes are necessary. They audit and verify all this complete process and maintain a document accordingly. Now, the last step is review and status reporting process. Basically, configuration manager takes some technical review of each and every module in particular project. They take a review on application workflow, means complete workflow of your process from start to end, various process and modules, configuration items, means related to software and hardware resources are properly used or not, and all the changing requests of the client. They take a review of this thing, and mention all these details in documents. Now, this status report provided to the developer, tester, end users, customers and stakeholders. They check that your complete project is developed as per the customer requirements. They also mention some user manual, installation process guide, configuration guide and do's and don'ts guide. See here, suppose when you buy a washing machine, so at that time there is a user manual is there. This user manual mention everything, how to install washing machine, then how to use washing machine, do's and don'ts related to the washing machine, right? So this is called as review and status report. 
This is developed by the configuration manager. This is the last step of SCM process. Now the next topic is SCM repository. Basically SCM repository is a set of all control process and data structure which allow software team to manage all the changes in effective manner. See here in this particular diagram this is a SCM repository. There are total six tools are used like versioning, dependency tracking, change management, requirement tracing, configuration management and audit trails. These are the six tools are used in SCM repository. They manage version control, change control and release control process. Now these are the different functions of SCM repository. Now let's discuss these functions and tools in detail. Now why SCM repository is used in particular SCM process. Basically SCM repository is centralized database. All the changes are performed and after that stored these changes or updated version file into the SCM repository. Okay. The first function is data sharing means this SCM repository ensure that all this information are consistently and accurately shared with all the stakeholders. Then information sharing. Multiple user access latest version of file from this repository. Then tool integration. Here SCM repository use different tools for version control, change control purpose. Data integration. Here one or more resources means different software resources, hardware resources, then different programming languages, database, framework. So integration of all those things while developing a particular product is necessary. So they maintain this thing. Next one is a methodology enfor enforcement. Here they define entity relationship model means while developing a particular project there are different modules are there right and now there is an interrelationship between each and every module and also there is some authorization process. Let's take an example of college management system. There are suppose three modules student, teacher and HOD module. So these all three modules are interrelated with each other. Student module used by the user student, teacher module used by the teacher, HOD module used by the HOD also, right? So this is called as entity relationship model, means which type of modules are there, what is their functionality and used by the which stakeholders. This is called as methodology enforcement. The next one is the document standardization, means everything have mentioned in document in particular standard approach. So this is a SCM repository function. Now the next is SCM repository tools. The first tool is versioning. See as we discussed earlier there are various versions of particular product and particular project. So this versioning tool mention all the version numbers of particular file as per their creation date. Next one is the dependency tracking and change management. See as per the customer requirement there are various changes are occur in particular project. So they manage and track all the changes in relationship between all the objects and their models. For that purpose they use UML diagram. Next one is a requirement tracing. See there are two types of tracing. First is a forward tracing and second one is a backward tracing. Forward tracing means first design a particular product then develop a particular product and after that deliver to the customer and take a feedback from the customer. This is called as forward tracing. No backward tracing means after developing a particular product check that which is developed as per the customer requirements or not. This is called as backward tracing. Next one is a configuration management. So uh, here this repository tool track a complete series of configuration means they maintain all the version of particular product. Every version there are new features and new specifications are there. Then audit trails. So audit trails establish all the information of when, why and by whom all these changes are occur. They mention all these details in particular database. Now as per your exam point of view these questions are important. First which are the layers of SCM process explain each in detail. Here you have to explain SCM process for 8 marks. Then what is SCM explain change control mechanism for 7 marks. Then what is software SCM repository explain their features of tool set for 8 marks and explain SCM repository features for 7 marks. So you have to prepare this topic completely for 7 to 8 marks. 
तो थैंक यू कीप लर्निंग